Hey guys, welcome back. We're on our way to pick up the newest member of the family, a mini golden doodle that we decided to name Linux. Linux, like the operating system. Linux is a 13 week old golden doodle, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Linux napped a lot on the first day. And on the second day, we decided to do some stair work and then she headed to work with Danny while I finished up classes and work myself. Starting the leg day off with C4, I'm a firm believer in stretching before lifting. I like to hold each stretch for at least 15 seconds. For squat day, I do heavy focus on opening up the hips and pelvic area. My second biggest thing is to mimic the movement while you're stretching and then also do it at the lowest weight possible. For me, that would be the bar weight, which is 35 pounds. This just gives you an idea of how your body is feeling and a good way to make a mental plan on how to do your workout and how your workout will continue for the rest of the day. We can just fast forward through this setup. It's really up to you when you want to start wearing your weightlifting belt. I start almost immediately just to get used to it, and also it's a gentle mental reminder to focus on what the lower back is doing. Which if you like this belt I'm wearing, I got it from EXO. If you use the code DPSTERFITNESS, you can save some money yourself. squatting with 15 pound plates on each side with a 35 pound bar totaling out to 65 warm up. I'm to put on weightlifting shoes. Converse shoes also work, I just got these from Adidas because they were on sale. Honestly, I never got the whole velcro above the shoelaces, but now wearing shoes with them, I kinda get it. I am going to be skipping through my ladder set just so you don't have to watch me do everything, but most of the time I'll be doing is three sets of five reps. So with a skip forward, I'm going to be starting at 115 total bar rate right here. I'm still working on remembering to lift everything at the same time. It sometimes slips my mind and my butt will rise a little early. around again and then we're gonna fast forward a little bit so you don't have to watch the setup and a little blue moment here this one is at 125 which is my max weight at the moment i know form is a bit off but it's getting better and that's what matters i'm also taking precautions to make sure that i'm not putting myself in a form that could hurt me i started using knee sleeves within the last two weeks i always like to do my research before i make new decisions on equipment these knee sleeves are from EXO, and yes, they do match my weightlifting belt. They also come in solid colors as well, but I like the lightning bolt pattern the most. This is 130 pounds. This is my first ever attempt at it. Holding this kind of weight up is like a little challenge of its own, especially with new weights that I'm not used to which I'm pretty proud of myself. I know the form was not great, but to keep a positive light on it, I still can't believe I got this. I like to go until I fail a rep. As long as my body isn't giving signs already ahead of time that I'm done, which there's no failing at the gym. When I say it failed, I mean I didn't do a complete set or a complete rep. Don't think failing means that you're doing fitness wrong. Fitness is what you make it and how you tackle it both physically and mentally. Once I max out on my main set, for me, my main set was squats, I go back to my warm up weight and do lots of reps. Finishing off with 20 pound RDLs, lunges, and leg press, I'm just going to save you guys from watching me do all the reps for these as well. When you're going back from the main set to a warm up weight or going back down the ladder, to just take your time. Here's another angle and you can see how my form is. I'm not going to say my form's the best, and I definitely know it's not the best. When it comes to RDLs, good mornings, and lunges, or bridges, I like to try and do is four sets of 15. It really depends on how many sets and what your body's feeling, but for me, that's the number that works best for me. 
Try to limit yourself to four to five exercises while working out and go hard on them. For me today, my four to five exercises was the squats, RDLs, good mornings, and then leg presses. Limiting yourself to four to five exercises while working out also allows you to go hard on each exercise, but also to be able to take your time and not feel like you're rushing between each thing. Now for the, my favorite part of the day. Danny brought Lennox into the gym rock and climbing area so the staff can meet her. The gym wasn't open yet, so we ran some laps around and Lennox got to show off her speed. I hope you guys have a great day, and if you haven't already, please subscribe so you can catch the newest episodes each Wednesday.